Hey, what's up? It's the WallsWeapon.com. I'm laying here getting raped. You want to know how many violations I've experienced? Hundreds of thousands. Enough to put every congressman and police officer in a maximum security prison for life. Enough to have them executed. War Crimes of 1996 Act says Geneva Conventions ratified you violate them on your own soil because our Congress has adopted those as standards. You are going to face 25 years in prison for each crime or death penalty if someone died. Guess what? Susan Watkins died. Myron May's dead. Aaron Alexis is dead. There's people all over the country dead. Freedom has a whole list of people who have committed suicide forced to by the government. You know, they're like buzzing them with microwaves to force them to kill themselves. They've also died as a result of heart attack and natural looking causes all over the country. Those ones are hard to find. Because they're killing people in assassination using these weapons. Uh, Senator Paul Wellstone might be target. There's a whole, there's just basically a document that says he would have been at risk of this. His plane was knocked out of the sky just like it usually happens with an EMP. And then you have uh, people like Red Bell suddenly drops dead. And something to do with his heart or something that was... And he's talking about this weapon just days after. It's the way it works, man. And the fucking people get get cancer. That's another way they do it. They fucking, like, remotely fucking activate cancer. Damaging your tissue and your cells and your DNA. Yeah, that's the way they do it. And then there's this huge military industrial complex force across America keeping it hush hush and working against it. Working against the people, I mean, to try to uncover it. So everywhere you go, you're up against a mega fucking violent piece of shit. What else is going on? So, uh, when I, here's one thing. I mean, I went through so many court cases and hearings. Each one, the state, imagine this, the state uses a technology to set a person up to look psychotic when the only thing that's psychotic about the person is they're having a weapon used on them. They're saying, hey, there's a weapon being used on me. And they use that at every hearing to, to just throw the book at the person, fabricating le- you know, decisions by judges and judgments and shit. And they just fuck the person up that way. Get away with their injury and shit. That's the way it goes down. And uh, you have attorneys appointed. You have all this money appointed. And they, they don't do shit. They sit there and help the state. You want to know why? Because they're paid off too. Public defense fuckers. They just sit there like a bunch of dirt fucking maggot fucks. that don't know nothing about... NSA surveillance and military weapons and shit, or they do, or they do, and they're fucking actually part of the conspiracy and working with the DA and shit, and they don't want no one to get caught. They accepted some deal at some point, and they're just protecting the deal. See? Almost any public... Here's another thing. These public defenders think that they don't got to follow the law. They don't give a fuck about the Constitution. And they're, they're like, oh, well, case law will say that, but, you know, they're actually trying to find ways of not even doing their jobs. I caught so many of them doing it. It's fucking insane. Because they're dirty fucks. They're sitting on a mountain of being fucktards, man. Not putting any effort into their cases, not being against the government like they should. In my case, man, the Fourth Amendment, boom, easy violation. Illegal to search and seize a person using a military weapon. But here they are using it. It's the biggest violation of them all. That's what they're doing to all the victims. They're either searching them illegally by spying with a satellite. 
It sees through the walls and scans your fucking personal effects and goes into your brain, scans your body. That's what it does. It's doing it to everybody. Scans your cars you're driving and driving around. Takes us, you know, it's monitoring everything. You know, my friend had a thing where he came from Canada and nobody knew that he had these weapons. He had some guns in his fucking back of the car. Guess what? They scanned his fucking car with this as he fucking comes into the Washington state or whatever. And they, you know, act like they don't know at first. They put a GPS on there. How'd they know he had the guns in there? If they didn't see the guns with their own eyes. Because they're a bunch of faggots using secret military scanning technology on people's cars. And he thought, he believed it. He's like, holy shit, that's how they're doing this shit. When he heard what I had to say about this crap. They're doing brand scans too. They're doing it secretly. So you got like, you cross the border from Canada to America. And they got like these little areas where they stop people and shit and they're checking everything out well they got secret warrantless surveillance technology they're using right there scanning people in their cars and the information's passed right down to the fucking agent who's secretly using it and acts like he doesn't know because it'd be a violation of people's rights they gotta act like they found it some other way that's what they do and they talk about that all the time. They act like they got the information another way because they got to hide their methods. It's all classified. You know, they got this. They use it on people too right there in the towns. Their own citizens. Every fucking day. All classified. All done in stealth methods. And they design stealth methods for communicating the information about it and everything. So you, you're not going to find, like, most likely at your local station a bunch of records on their shit. Unless it's police reports people and victims filed, you know. And then they will have a police officer who knows all about this come out. Oh, he's talking about something that's impossible. Let's put him down for a mental evaluation. That's what they do. Because they're told to cook the books. They know it's illegal. They don't want to go to jail for it. They don't want someone to infiltrate their dirty little secret. Which would ultimately like. Take away their credibility for good. You know. Because they already. Lo they're losing credibility all the time. They're already out there killing people. They're raping them. They're fucking getting away with crime all the time. They're searching people illegally. They're spying on all your phone calls. We already know certain details. Okay. They're watching your internet. Fucking. They are downloading the headers, man. They're saving the headers and the content of everything you access on the internet over the HTT protocol. Boom. Edward Stone. So everything. They already. They got your password. They got your username. They got your email address. Everything you submit, you upload, you make a request. They got it. Boom. Nothing. And that's just the way they do it in one way. There's the direct brain access, too. They want your password going to your brain. And uh, they got, you know, they already know you sent an email. They don't even need to go and get the email. They already know you sent it. That's the way that work works, too. There's all this secret shit that goes on at different levels. The only time they need to get your actual email, though, when they want to go into court and use it on you. So they get a warrant then. And they act like they didn't already know you had it. And they got automatic scanning algorithms, too, of all the data and stuff. Puts it right there where they want it. They get everything they want. So, Fourth Amendment, though, it talks about illegal seizures. A seizure is like some, some type of restraint or like arrest or something. And they can arrest people with technology. That's one of the DOD's most classified secrets. They can stop your car dead in its tracks with a fucking directed energy EMP little thing. Fucking just stalls the car. Just boom. Knocks out the equipment. Boom. Stops there and dead in its tracks. Activate the brakes digitally. Another thing they do. Another thing they got 
So anyway, let's go. Fourth Amendment is violated. Eighth Amendment when you're being tortured. Yep, they can't do it even if you're you're being sentenced for a crime. They can't torture you. So torture's banned. Uh, what else? Uh, they can't take your life and limb without due process. So they have to have a judge right there to approve it. So they got to take it all and they got to be honest. They can't fabricate shit. Due process requires a full truth and nothing but the truth. But guess what? Everyone knows that that's the stuff they're trying to hide because they're they're committing so many high level crimes with it. So that the due pro today due process kind of fucked up. If the government's keeping secrets and not even putting it all down, and oh by the way, in a court of law, when you go on trial, let's just say they falsely arrest you, and they're trying to set you up like they did me, they would be targeting people like me to falsely arrest. Okay, and that's what they've done. And they would also assault me knowing that they could beat me up and target me because they're upset about everything I'm saying about them. They're all like knowing how dangerous. They're serial rapists. They're serial murderers, dude. They've been, for them to use a weapon on a person, they have to be very extremely dangerous, right? For them to keep a secret, extremely dangerous people. So a police officer jumps me, fucking punches me up. He's doing that shit because he's dangerous. And that's and he has an intent to do it, and they've been they do it to just by fact that he's not willing to admit it. He's showing that he's bullying you around and everything that he knows that's going on, and uh, well, that's what goes on all over the place. And then their one of their goals is to get people that they're targeting into a prison, even if it's by false nature, get them into a mental institution, shit like that, because you want to discredit them and get rid of them and everything. And you want to you be able to have your own doctors, people mutilate the person and fuck them up and everything. Keep control over them. And, uh, all right, well, you also have the right to equal protection. They'll have the laws. You have justice and liberty. It's all being violated because they're not supposed to be able to do shit to you. You also have the right to justice. Someone commits a crime against you, they have to be arrested and go on the trial, period. Well, not the government agents, man. They committed a crime on the biggest level, most epic organized level. And uh, no one goes to jail for it. And now they're, they're doing it all over the place. They just keep fucking coming at you with organization. And it's an organized thing because it's a, they're, they're basically authorized like a license to kill. But only in their own heads because no one's there to stop them. They, there's no fucking power that's going to stop them there's no there's no enforcement mechanisms and there's no way to do an inspection of their systems they in court they're able to to just say whatever they want and they never actually submit to any type of inspection where the information is compelled out of them they cannot keep it a secret okay it's where you go into their fucking system. You take the judge and he does like a, a thorough... We, we hire experts that get to go in and look at their computer systems or whatever. And their, their warehouses and their weapons and stuff. Never happens. The judge never sees any of that. So the, all these lawsuits that go on are usually based on pure speculation. And all the facts can be sitting right there proving what you're saying anyway. But 